Hey everyone, this is Doug. Um, I'm answering a question that I got over the email on how the Bezier Path tool works in Mongo Studio EX4. And instead of like trying to explain it on email, I was going to make a quick video explaining how it works. So I have this page here and I'm going to select the Create Bezier Path tool. And if you're not familiar with how this is, it's basically another way of creating like a curved ruler tool. Um, it's located over here in the tools palette and maybe hidden under in like the line tool, curve tool, or polyline tool, depending on which one you have active. Select the create path. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to create quick, I'm quickly just going to create a path. So it's like I start my end start point. And now I'm going to start clicking and dragging the endpoints for or rather it's more like I'm I'm creating the anchor points for each endpoint along this path. And that's going to be a little hard to ex understand at first. I'll, I'll explain in a moment. Okay. So what I just did was because of how, how a Bezier path works, you have your various endpoints here, in, or in the case of this little path I created here, all these empty squares you see here are the points along the path. What these points here are, are your anchor points. And so when you use the, when you create the path, uh, using the create path tool, what you're doing is actually creating not only your uh, uh, your point along the path, but you're also clicking and dragging your uh, anchor points for those points. So if I go to the object selector tool, I can now go in and adjust not only the, the point here, but I can adjust these anchor points to set the, the curve. Now you'll notice that some of them, uh, if I select a point, Sometimes like the anchor points don't get selected as well, but if I go to this one, you'll notice like this this line um, appears, and that just shows that like these anchor points are locked to this path point. And um, so yeah, all you're really doing with this is having a, a means of like just like a finer, you know, like creating a finer tune to your. Uh, to the curve that you create. So if you created the uh, like basic, you know, like a basic idea of the ruler, and then you want to just kind of go in and like you know refine the the curve on it, you can go in and use these anchor points. And so when you do a create path, and I'll create another one, um, that's what you're doing. So like you have your start point, and you click your second point, and then you are going to create your, or you're going to select where your anchor point is for this this particular section of the path come down here and you'll notice that these two point two more points just appeared and these adjust the curve for the next portion of the path and I drag down to the next portion and I click here and you'll notice that this dotted line matches the previous anchor point to the new endpoint or the new path point and two new anchor points are created I click and dra or I just kind of like drag along to a certain point and I repeat the process Adjustment point matches path point. And like so. And so hopefully this helps answer your question a little bit, at least on how to create a path in, in Manga Studio 4EX. Uh, 